Hey guys, so after a lot of research and some serious deep thought, I finally made a decision about the upcoming election. And I know this might come as a surprise to a lot of you, but I've decided that I'm definitely voting for Kamala Harris. I mean, who else could perfectly embody such bold leadership and unwavering consistency? And by consistency, I mean her impressive ability to constantly change her positions. You were against fracking, now you're for it. You supported looser immigration policies, now you're tightening them up. You were for Medicare for all. No, you're not. And again, I know it might come as a shock to a lot of you, but I have to do what's right. And I do want to take the time to make this video and let you know exactly why Kamala is the only logical choice for America. So let's start with the most obvious. Kamala's flexibility is so refreshing. I mean, why commit to a stance when you can just change it later on, depending on the crowd? There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. So, yeah. Do you still want to ban fracking? No, and I made that clear on the debate stage in 2020 that I would not ban fracking. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. Kamala would never lie to the public like that evil orange man does. Speaking of constantly changing her positions, she's also great at changing accents depending on the crowd as well. Thank unions for that five day work week. You better thank a union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. In 2024, we will win again. And we're gonna do it again in 2024. You know, empathy, man. You know, I, for the the suffering of other people, have you no sense of purpose? Let's not forget the most important thing. She's a woman and she's black. I think. And as I'm sure you know, identity politics is exactly what we have to focus on, especially when choosing a leader for our country. So obviously, every woman and every black person is voting for Kamala. It's just common sense. We have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters. It seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. The Democrats then unleashed Barack Obama into the wild to shame us black men for not supporting Kamala Harris, despite the fact that she's yet to unveil any policies that represent our interests. Shame me for not voting for them simply because they look like me. That is racist, brother. I don't have to vote for Kamala because she's quote unquote black. Just like I shouldn't have voted for your because you got up there, you tap dance for the establishment, and you ain't do a goddamn for the black people that put you in office. You just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. You ain't did a thing for us in the eight years that you was in the White House. And you think you gonna pop up during an election year and try to scold black men for not wanting to vote for your candidate? Have you lost your mind? And if you're not, you are either sexist or racist, or both, probably both. You bigot. You just hate me because I'm black. Now let's talk about the illegal immigrants she has been letting into the country, many of whom are criminals, sex traffickers, terrorists, bringing their crime and drugs into America. They yeah. do see it. They're at their own border, children being lowered over fences, yeah. children coming in with, you know, phone numbers stenciled on, on their hand. Yeah. And so the question has come up, and you heard it here, and, and yeah. you, you'll hear it again, I'm sure, is why not visit the border? Why not see what Americans are seeing in this crisis? I, I'm here in Guatemala today I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. And Kamala really knows how to prioritize while actual American citizens are suffering. Because of the Biden Harris administration open border policies catch and release, they were enrolled in the alternatives to detention program. This meant that they were released into the United States. It was not even a full three weeks later that they would take my daughter, Jocelyn Nungare's life. She's making sure that illegal migrants and criminals are getting taxpayer funded transgender surgeries. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. For prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. And she said she supported uh, taxpayer funded gender transition surgeries for detained migrants. She also said both wrote and 
answered in the affirmative when she was asked this. Oh. And she said she also supported it uh, for federal prisoners. So progressive. Did I mention she's a woman? During interviews, she also focuses on herself, her policies, and her vision for the future of our country. She doesn't just talk about Trump. It's a law that Donald Trump actually followed. Just, I, I, well, you I have think Donald Trump this. would say he did. Type of rhetoric that has come out of Donald Trump, the kind of rhetoric coming from Donald Trump. You've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you Vice and I President. both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking I actually about. Don't. I mean, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. I'm not Donald Trump. But sometimes she does talk about evil Cheeto, like Project 25, and how he supports it. What you're going to hear tonight is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected to again. On the right, severe right, came up with this Project 25. And then they read some of the things, and they are extreme. I mean, they're seriously extreme. But I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. They wrote a document that many of the points are fine. Many of the points are absolutely ridiculous. I have nothing to do with the document. Trump did not write Project 2025. The project's big policy document published by the Heritage Foundation think tank lists dozens of people as authors, editors, contributors. Donald Trump is not among them. And let's not forget how he very clearly incited violence on January 6th. The president of the United States incited a violent mob to attack our nation's capital. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. He's also obviously homophobic. Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. A radical Islamic terrorist targeted the nightclub, not only because he wanted to kill Americans, but in order to gay and lesbian citizens because of their sexual orientation. It's a strike at the heart and soul of who we are as a nation. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. What can you expect from an evil cis straight white man? Gay man voting for Trump, I get asked how I could vote against my own best interests. And what I would say to that is I don't believe that more secure borders less wars, better economy, higher wages, lower housing costs. A man who's actually going to prioritize America and American citizens first is going against my own best interests. I would actually argue that the alternative who's going to walk us straight into World War III would be going against not only my best interests, but the best interests of this country and its citizens as a collective. And when it comes to abortion, I want to make sure that every woman and man and non-binary and Z and Zim has the right to get as many abortions they want wherever and whenever and can you believe that evil trump he won't even allow you to end the life of a baby in extreme cases like incest but i believe in the exceptions for incest and the life of the mother i think it's very important he would also ban ivf treatment under donald trump's abortion bans couples who pray and and and, and dream of having a family are being denied ivf treatments under the Trump administration, your government will pay for, or your insurance company will be mandated to pay for, all costs associated with IVF treatment, fertilization for women, IVF treatment. But back to Kamala, I also adore her speaking style and that awkward nervous laughter when she's asked serious questions. The work that we have done has resulted in a number of movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. What's at stake in this election? Whoa, it's packed with some stuff. <laughs> It's comforting to know that when things do get serious, she can always lighten the mood with some cackling. So 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. Oh, and that coconut thing? She is so iconic. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> 
and so brat. Did I mention she's a black woman? I absolutely love how Kamala respects all religions, like when she chose to skip the Al Smith dinner, a long-standing Catholic event, and instead sent a hilarious skit poking fun at Catholics. I just want to say that I'm Catholic, and tonight is one of the biggest dinners next to the Last Supper. Sometimes when I get nervous, I stick my fingers under my arms and I simmer them like that. Mm. Mm. But that's gross. While focusing on what really matters, her gender. Don't you see, man? We need a woman to represent us. A woman brings more heart, more compassion. And think how smart she must be to become a top contender in a field dominated by men. It's time for a woman, bro. And with this woman, we can fly. Did I mention she's a woman? And let's not forget how soon after, she graciously mocked Christians by saying they're at the wrong rally for saying Christ is king. <laughs> oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. <laughs> no, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Oh, and remember right after Hurricane Helene, when Americans were literally drowning, entire towns were destroyed, she finally decided to sit down for a serious interview. The Call Her Daddy podcast, of course. Donald Trump is an unserious man. This woman's black woman's timing is impeccable. And she was so generous with sending aid to the right places, like $157 million to Lebanon. Again, while Americans are suffering from Helene, but it's okay, they got a whole $750 for immediate relief. Assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750. And what we really need are some fresh new vibes, not someone who's already been in office and proved themselves to be a complete disaster. Oh wait. The important thing is that we don't get stuck with another boring cis straight white man. And of course, we can't just have Biden all over again. So that's why Kamala made it very clear how she was going to do things differently. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. And who better to endorse Kamala like some of the most brilliant minds of our time, like Usher or Eminem or Lizzo. They say if Kamala wins, then this whole country will be like Detroit. Well, I say proud like Detroit. I say resilient like Detroit. We absolutely need to be more like Detroit. More drugs, homelessness, poverty, violent crime. What an inspiring vision for America's future with Kamala as president. You know, I love how Kamala completely sticks to her principles, except when she doesn't, which is, well, most of the time, but that's okay because she's a woman. So obviously the only logical choice is Kamala Harris. I mean, who wouldn't want four more years of confusion and inconsistency? So there you have it. Those are all the reasons why Kamala Harris is the best option for our country. So make sure you go out and vote for Kamala too. Did I mention she's a woman of color?